This is Titai One Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, we're always happy to have you watch um, the best entertainment show in Nigeria. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Hi. Hi. That's some periods. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the drama before uh, when life. We now, need another what? program for just being that's, that's the job, right? Yeah. That's for. Hmm. Mm. Okay, so the weekend hopes to create a whole album for female artists. He admits he often writes for a character he has created and his alter egos are not always politically correct. Uh, yeah. Did you ever feel that way? <laughs> um his 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 songs were not Okay, there are a few singles that I went back to look for because the ones After that I this conversation. yes, because okay. the ones I listened to mm -hmm. were just bad boy. They're just sexual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just that. I wouldn't say that they're offensive. Let, let me put it that way. But he's not even complaining about being offensive. He was talking about being politically correct. And right now, being politically correct is being very sensitive to people's hmm. feelings. So I can understand that. But I went and looked at another song. Of course, what's it's called now? Jesus. And that song, Sha, but I didn't, even, I didn't even jump to it. That song was like pretty out there with the lyrics and quite extreme in a bit, but I, it didn't get to my catalog or my playlist. So I never really saw him in that light. Regardless, um, even if I don't see his, his work as something that's offensive, if he has said that even the standard that he has kept for himself, he's not reaching it, then of course do something about that, definitely. I okay. like the fact that um, the fact that a man knows when it's wrong and he accepts it. That's very commendable because he's not trying to fight it. He's not trying to tell you no. There's absolutely nothing wrong with what I did. If they say your songs are misogynistic, right? It's only fair that you say yes, it is, and then I'm going to do better. And then to mm. well, what I don't understand now is to create a balance, and then you want to create a full album for a female artist to. Um, put out there as well. So and maybe the, the yeah, you know, so when is she he has going, the sexual stuff going on in his song, the female will say be the saying derogatory side. stuff about men too. So sexual stuff are derogatory now. No, when you say misogynistic, it's probably the old prejudice towards women. Mm, so I, I want to believe that that's maybe what the woman will be doing now is going to be what the woman that will be preying on the man in the album because. But basically, what? Why would you think that? Why? I don't. I don't understand. Because the weekend is trying to create a balance to say that okay, I'm creating a female so that there would be a balance between it's what I've been doing. creating a female what? Female album. An album for a female artist. artist. Right. And yeah. you think that that means that the female? So I think he's going to write like the opposite of what he has. Yeah, that's the whole out. idea. I don't know. I mean, we're just. That's guessing. the whole idea, not, not even guessing, that's the whole idea of the album. That, that he's album. going to be singing from a female perspective. He, he'll he's be writing, not singing, he's not he's writing, writing it he'll for, writing like, him. creating, if you're, if you're an artist right mm -hmm. now, I'm The weekend. I'm making an album for you, I'll write all the lyrics, I'll t teach you how to sing it, yours is just to execute the singing. I hope that's not what it means, because that's oh, very... Uh, do you expect The weekend to now start singing like a woman? I thought he was going to sing, like, for females. No, he's creating How an album. How is he going to say it? Oh, I love you guys. Oh, you guys are amazing. <laughs> oh, well, that's, oh, the, that's the job of the artist. Your body is hot. No, he's creating an album for a female artist. He's yeah, going to write I got all the well. lyrics, probably why produce would you write, them. Why would you make an album for somebody else? Like, wh why, would the, why would any artist To create the balance. To, no, if you, you say, what he said is that's that his own punishment he's been for himself. the one writing all his songs. And he writes it from a certain perspective, which is definitely a male perspective. Mm -hmm. So he wants to write something different, something that puts him in the shoes of a woman. And definitely, and he wants for that to use another person's album. Like, think about properly. it. Any artist on the surface of this earth will want somebody else to write you know, all not, their songs. Are you not getting it? You're not, you're not, not getting it. I'm not really not getting it. That's, that's not how about I read him the story. as an artist. Now it's about him as a writer and being fulfilled as a writer. Right. That's what I got from the story. So, whether he executes it or someone executes it, or maybe they do a duet, he just it's, it's really not, wants to write something that creates balance. Because when I read this, when I read it, what I got from it was that he obviously wanted to involve females more in his music process, yes, in his lyrics. If he's writing for the women, if he's writing positively, or if he's um, 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 what's it called, collaborating with other female artists. But the idea doesn't. It, what your people are saying to me doesn't make any sense. That's Do you know what? If he's saying if, if that was it, the headline where the weekend wants to create.
create an album for female audience or fans or something, mm -hmm. not That's for a female artist. artist. Did yeah. you read the headline? Yeah, and the album as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the album, album for a female artist. For a album. female artist. Well, we'll so, see how that plays out. So I'm definitely looking forward to what his mind will do on um, paper. So mm. I want to know what he can do. And I want to know the artist that's going already. to say that she does not want any involvement in her own album. She wants to give everything to with Weekend. Your so yeah, yeah, delivery oh. is enough involvement already. You know that people actually have an album and they don't necessarily you know, have to write their whole song. Exactly. And then you give there the entire, albums you give, and that you, give the you don't write to anything. One person. There are albums that he some can, people don't oh, write. He might, okay, I get I what you're saying. Thank it might you. not be one person, like different female artists. But then it could be what says it cannot be one person. Because then that's, that's a Weekend's album, not her album anymore. But who is executing it? It's, it's he, going to be he a said collaboration, it's writing it a joint for project. The person, if you as the artist now decide to come out and say, oh, The Weekend wrote this for me, it's your choice. Or maybe it's part of the but deal. Do you think there are artists or there is a, a good vocalist now that The Weekend will reach out to, to say, I have this amazing project, this songs this producer and okay, i want let, you let, let to be the face of that project and, and execute it and the person will say no i don't say i don't know how you can for me maybe it's because it's the 100 percent soul authority of writing all the songs on the album that that is a bit weird to me because okay. then it feels like it's more about weekend than anybody else if you say he wants to start collaborating it's about him if the person is that amazing the person who writes their own and besides, album that's, that's, that's not even our call that's deal. his agreements with the person yeah if the person of course it's not my call it's an opinion yeah i know what's what we're okay, saying okay while we're, we're waiting for the same. This, this album to drop hopefully to come soon i'm sure it's not a 2020 thing hopefully 2021 i don't know but moving on real quick the Los Angeles City News reports that movie director Roman Polanski, who was expelled from the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences over charges of unlawful sex with a 13-year-old girl on Tuesday, lost a court bid to be reinstated as a member. He had argued in a civil lawsuit that he was denied due process by the Academy when he decided to expel him under a code of conduct drawn up in the response to sexual misconduct allegations against dozens of men in the entertainment industry. Polanski was expelled from the academy along with comedian Bill Cosby, who was convicted in 2018 um, of drugging and raping a woman in 2004. The academy had also expelled film producer Harvey Weinstein in 2017. Oh. So because he wasn't convicted? I guess. I guess. Yeah. That's what I took from the story. Maybe it's because he wasn't convicted. I would like to assume that they cared about that type of stuff. They already started with the notion that they cared about, you know, having the right people on board by expelling those people who are associated to that to begin with. There's still a lot of organizations or bodies that these people, Bill Cosby and Harvey, are still on and they don't really care. So for me, it, what I got was that if they started with that in, in, in intention, then I don't want to question that. So if they're going to then ask the person to come back, um, maybe there's something behind the scenes of as to why that person has been cleared. Either ways, um, the Oscars is not, it's not an organization that I hold very highly, to be very honest. They've had a lot of um, cases like this that just shows a lot of disparities and how power does control that party more so than the genuine category that they're trying to work on. Is it that he's the most qualified person and he needs to be on that on that board and without him on the board, something he's bad not on happen. the board though. He was, was expelled. He's uh, been expelled. He is the one who no, went to court to say he wants, he to, wants be to be back, back. Yeah. and the court has thrown that out as well. But, he can be back. What, what, what I was even reading was that they're actually also co um, considering bringing him back nah. as well. Uh, did you see? I didn't say that. No, they didn't. didn't They're not considering that consideration. In fact, a, from a statement from the Oscars, I mean the Academy, they are saying that they are not even expecting him to go to challenge um, yeah. this ruling at all. If he's because in his right for senses. me, I was thinking. I, I know. I know the Oscars very well when it comes to things like this because we've boy, many times that they've boycotted them in terms of racial disparities. Same thing happened where they still go ahead and do things like that. So I don't know. No, this uh, is a different case mm -hmm. entirely. Well, that's the more reason why I'm glad about this decision yeah. by the Oscars because of the racial disparity, and we know that it's a white supreme dominated. Yeah. Um, dominated um, body right mm -hmm. and um they are not being biased by saying that oh because this person is white this person was never convicted we're going to bring this person back yeah, okay. they are saying it that look regardless of where it is you're not convicted and i still and you've been I'm, proving I'm, yourself I'm, innocent yeah, yeah. I'm, and besides it's acting like a guilty man he ran away to to france since like 1970 something mm -hmm. and he hasn't been back in the u.s even though he won the oscars and he ran away as soon as he was what accused. if what if in his in his defense he wanted to get away from the drama 
Mm. 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 Okay. <laughs> we, like saying the saying, uh, we run to fight another day. Mm -hmm. right? mm. You run to fight another day. <laughs> okay. Well, he lost this fight again. Yeah, yeah I'm glad he did. I'm actually very I'm glad. I'm very glad he did too. Tea time continues right after this very short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Ali Baba? Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. That's how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Mm. music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from my love, we like. <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is still the time on Plus TV Africa. Nigerian comedian Bright Okocha, popularly known as Basket Mouth, has reacted to the California wildfire. He says he will choose bad government over natural disaster. Well, currently, more than 14,000 firefighters are battling over two dozen major um, fires and lightning complexes across California. They have so far, though, been seven reported deaths and more than 1,400 structures destroyed. Hmm. I think um, it, it made sense. At, at first, I was thinking about it, that why would anyone want to choose any? But when you have to put them side by side, of course, we know the... Okay. Sorry, I will not let you finish. But you can finish when I finish. Yeah? Why would I finish when you finish? <laughs> <laughs> he so, did not make sense to me. Okay, that's you. But, um, because? Yeah, so no, wait, wait, wait. You okay. get there. Mm -hmm. So why I said if you put them side by side, right? Bad governance and um, is something that is created by us, right? And at the end of the day, we know the problem. We know the root cause of the problem. It's just by having good leaders. It's by electing good leaders, mm. and that will be solved. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to natural disaster, you don't know where it's coming from. You don't know what is causing it. You don't know anything. And it just mm -hmm. happens, and lives are lost, and all of that. So I can imagine why somebody would say I would pick natural disasters okay, over I that. Hear because, you. yeah. But I think this is this gives me the same vibe when Christians decide to pick and choose and start trying to play God or trying to play um, the saints and hoping that their own lives are better or something. Um, if just imagine natural disaster in Africa, mm -hmm. maybe not even make it personalized to Nigeria and the kind of governments you have. Do you mm -hmm. know how many lives? would have gone. We're talking of just seven lives. I'm sorry to use the word just because, I mean, for me, one life is actually a big deal. We don't have natural disaster in Nigeria, but people are dying daily out of hunger. We're talking of um, Southern Kaduna killing that is ongoing. And I can tell you that more than seven people, even if I don't want to exaggerate it or give figures now, have died from that. And that is basically out of bad governance or bad leadership, right? We can go on and on as to how lives are being cut short, potentials are not reached, and, and it, a whole lot. To even, and, I mean, to even help I with know. figures, I think um, what's it called? Bad governance is a constant um, reality for people. So if I'm in bad governance, then I'm unsafe every single day, and the threats are more imminent. So if bad governance, let's take for example Nigeria, I'm not even the worst type of government. We have a failed health system, failed roads, failed educational system, failed uh, everything system. Sure. So what happens is that there's a generational... Like a natural disaster working. Yes, and then there's generational um, um, pain that comes with that. So if I'm, if I'm stuck with bad education, I'm going to give my kids bad education and the cycle goes on, except for one of those Davies that stand out, which is not that many people. But when it comes to natural disasters, with a good, good, good government, first of all, they are already um, ahead of it, one. Yes, they might not be able to control everything, but as soon as that happens, which will happen anyway, even with bad governments, you still have your natural disasters that mm. happen. Excuse me. <laughs> the government is still there to help you clear things up. Mm. Hey, good. Do I break? To, no. Okay. <laughs> the government is still there to help you support your family, to help you bounce back for whatever disaster that's going to that, that's gonna happen. That doesn't happen every day. So for me, it makes no sense at all how you could even 
compare both of them together. I would rather na nature take its course. It's almost like having malaria or you have a fluke or something happens. Natural disasters are something that you cannot uh, emit. But having man-made problems are a lot worse, especially when it comes to corruption. It's something we've been fighting. I still don't know any country that mm. has eradicated poverty completely. I mean, it was corruption, corruption completely. completely. So for me, it's a harder problem to deal yeah, with. Than, but then I think for the someone like Basket Mounts, maybe me trying to understand where he's coming from could be you know when you talk about um parenting and how you how they handle their kids and how nigerian kids now think that um if you're not disciplined in a certain kind of way then you will not grow up to be a better person so it's possible that what we have been through in nigeria and the conditioning as well would make him look at this and feel like okay thank god though i don't have to face this but then it makes me feel better that this is what i'm facing because if it's not a basket mouse that can be the government for himself because i mean yep. you are providing your life Preach. you're providing your security you're doing that you're basically the government for yourself then maybe he won't be able to see it from that perspective yeah. as well. So but if you really need the yeah. government, you mm -hmm. would not. You would not. So that. I don't agree. Okay. So taking from all your saying. points, like okay, bad governance, they will be um, with a good government. They will be ahead of the natural disaster. They'll probably have a good healthcare system in case the strikes in cases. But what causes bad governance? The people, mm. right? The people who elect the wrong leaders, the greedy ones will be. Yeah, by electing. Wait, wait. It's, about, it's the greedy ones will because of. Um, one bag of rice, sell their vote and all of that. Really? What? That's what causes so bad government. Now. That's what makes us elect wrong people, especially so you when... Think okay, wait, hold on. Let me agree that is what makes it. So what made a person see one bag of rice, let's put it that way, as a big deal, if not for the poverty that has been created? Exactly. So also it's to control the minds of these people to see one cup of... We are even going to find it's not one bag of rice. One color of rice as a big deal. Well, like I was saying, the people are the ones to blame when it comes to bad governance. Okay. Natural disaster is God made. We can't really question God. Oh, right? we can mm. yeah, right. Mm. <laughs> we can't mm. really question mm. God. Mm. But, but that makes don't forget that just some people that but, died but, in this matter. But wait, but bad governance is caused by the people. We are the ones that would change the government to be a good one. So mm. when we're putting it side by side, what I would is, also okay, go okay, with okay, bad let's governance. Say, uh, let's see, let's than let's, a natural let, disaster let where I don't know the extreme okay, in which it will go when it would come. Let me agree to that thing that you yeah. just said right but the impact of both of them which is worse the impact of yes both of them. so we will another my whole causes what didn't cause it whatever the impact of a bad government look at look, look at nigeria for okay. example and then look at another country that has so what yeah, is, over, look at nigeria look at california yes what is what the impact of both of them which is worse for Wait, you it's bad governance right you can see that we impact still, now I'm not yeah i know cause. i know okay. i know you can see that we still make a way for ourselves one way or another. We How? still We still survive. We still live. We still do this thing. But with natural disaster, the rich, the poor, the lame, the blind, the sick, everybody is affected. Do you understand? But it doesn't mean that if you are poor today, you cannot be elevated from your poverty tomorrow. That is the question. So how will bad governors make that happen? I would bad I'm happen. saying that it's just a working thing. As long as you're working, you, you as long as you're yeah, driving. Yeah, like, I think what you said is really important. And, and I've, I've, I just saw the point manifest because if you did not have privilege to be able to say you get yourself out of it, you will have never made that statement. Because there's quite a lot of people that, let me just take human trafficking. Let me take human tra tra trafficking for example. If people who are stuck in that, who are victims of human trafficking, that didn't have a choice to get out of that. They will have never, never made that statement to say, they rather something that God... We cannot blame God, so we rather that one over the fact that okay, yeah, hunger and not, poverty no, no, has Don't, don't make it look me, like my, my point is insensitive in. right now because that's not the whole point. Because there are also people who have been into human trafficking and have escaped, right? And okay, are, and are making the themselves and they made and they made and they made themselves better. Not the super better. story of it. It's not the one that gets out of natural disaster. What about? I'm, not, I'm saying what, if you, what, what look, if I, as, when I started, I said I wouldn't even choose any. Do you understand? But I said, if I have to put them side by side. Basically, that's the conversation. And that's what Basket Mouth is saying. And that's what we're talking about. That having that mindset as well is a problem. Because you you are not... If It feels like you're being, I'm sorry to use the word, insensitive to the plight of people that are less privileged, suffering... Over a situation that you can't control. That can be avoided. No. 
it's it's giving excuses yeah. to bad governance. It's giving excuses to bad behavior. And you can only do that when that person's bad behavior isn't suffocate, isn't pressing your neck. Alrighty. If you expect this, these people, because I, I can give the same um, narration that yeah, people have escaped. Um, what's it called? Natural, natural disasters. The way it is in America, they start giving you heads up. They start to clear the place and everything. Is most of the time it's cases that are because so science unavoidable and technology has made it possible to do for that. that. And then happen. there's so much. There's um, mm. also called immediate um, uh, medical care that's given to you there's support you cannot compare that to everyday suffering do you people run to lagos on a daily basis to avoid child marriages to avoid um, um what's it called some serious plights because some people are pocketing no mm -mm. it's even of it's not okay um that's how we wrap up this episode of Sea Time. Thank you for watching. And please, we definitely want to hear your opinion on this one. Please send them via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Also, catch up on this conversation and all exclusive content by visiting and subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Do watch Tea Time on Arsu TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwash, okay, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe.